Yo, you got 10 seconds to like this video right now, or you will never be able to unban your account ever again. <laughs> What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy, Alpha Lady Beast, and I am back with another YouTube video. Yes, y'all see the title. Y'all know what's going on today. I'm back. How do y'all feel? I know I'm feel good. I've been worried. I got a lot of questions about how to unban accounts, how to reactivate it, how to re-enable it. Today, I'm gonna be helping y'all as much as possible to unban your Fortnite accounts. But if y'all don't follow these steps, Regardless on what I tell you, it still won't work. First step, like. Second step, subscribe. Third step, turn on post notifications. And the fourth step, comment down below what I said at the end of this video. So I know you stayed to the end. Let's go ahead and let's hop into it. So today, y'all already know by the title, I'm going to help y'all unban y'all Fortnite accounts. Y'all already know. Y'all did the steps. No need for me No need for me to explain on what to do with the steps. We're going to go ahead and talk about it. Here we go. So basically, we here because we about to get ready to unban some accounts. Number one, we're going to start off with what you need in order to unban your accounts. Or if you lost your accounts due to a hacker and you're trying to pull your account back, both steps require for this same thing that i'm about to tell y'all number one you need a proxy if you don't know what a proxy is i'm going to be happy to explain this to you right now number one is a proxy a proxy is a thing that you go on a website and you're able to change your I, your ip address i say this because in order to unban accounts or pull back an account you need to be in the og location of the account where it was created now i say this because epic games has completely changed their tos and that is the only way for you to unban your accounts, pull your accounts back. You have to send a ticket to them from the location that the account was created. Yes, that means it's much harder to pull accounts. Back then, you couldn't unban accounts from what, well, I said it wrong, I'm sorry. Back then, you can't unban almost any account without using a proxy. You can unban accounts that was made in Mexico and you live in the United States. Nowadays, if the account was created in Utah, you have to make the account ticket from Utah. So everything has changed. You have to have a proxy server if you don't live in the OG location. Now, if you really is OG owner and you live in a location where you created your account, that is perfect. It's nothing better contacting them on the OG IP address. Now, y'all probably like, bro, where can you get these proxies from? Or, you know, how do I know where to get these proxies from? It's multiple proxies you can go to on the internet. A few of them, I'm not gonna say because some of these proxies are private. I don't wanna tell everybody and it spreads. If you guys think about it, if you go around telling people about these proxies, Epic Games is gonna find out what proxies is used and they will most likely have them proxies being shut down. So I can't tell y'all all them proxies, but that is, that is the first step. The second step, if you need the TOS information to the account. And what I mean by that is you need the OG IP. In order for you to have the OG location to the account, you need the OG IP. The IP address tells you where the account was created. Once you have that IP, then you're able to go and get a proxy in order to be able to buy you know, your proxy so you can unban your account. Proxies cost money. You have to buy a proxy and the proxies are not free. So people that unban their accounts, yes, they are spending money to unban their accounts. Now, some proxies you can use from a friend or you know, whoever, cause you can buy like 150 proxies or whatever for like $30 and you can unban multiple accounts. If you guys are like, you know, sell accounts, whatever, I'm not gonna get into y'all business, but that is, that is it. You have to have OGIP. The second TOS is you mainly need is the oldest receipt. Oldest receipt is a must have when it comes down to Epic Games support. They're always gonna ask you for the receipt. Sometimes if you contact them from OG location, sometimes they won't even ask you for the IP address when you contact them. But most of the time, actually I would say all the time, they're gonna ask you for that 
their uh, oldest receipt. The oldest receipt will only be found if you have the original console, the original, um, you know, or you can go to the PC. Um, you can, if you have OG email, or if you still have your Fortnite account now, which most likely you don't because you watch this video because you're trying to unban. But you have to have the OG receipt. If y'all out here buying accounts, make sure that account comes with an OG receipt. People will lie to you and send you a fake receipt because fake receipts they work, but they won't make they won't have the right dates, they won't have the right time, they won't have the right you know symbols and stuff like that. So make sure when you out here buying these accounts, because I hate for y'all to get scammed, make sure them receipts have the right stuff. Make sure you get a receipt. Don't buy an account that doesn't come with your information to you that you need, okay? Number three not important but you do want to have the oldest display name of the account if you ever downloaded your pdf to your account that's going to be easy to find basically and oldest credit card invoice id none of that stuff really matters so that's really about it guys i promise y'all that's the best way to unban your accounts and if y'all still need help after that it's another method but I'm not sharing that method with anyone, but I will help you unbear your account if you don't have any of them info. Okay. So all I gotta say is, if y'all have any questions for me, hit me up on Instagram at SBE underscore beast. That's my main um, Instagram account. That's, I do everything on that account. I post all type of videos on my story. Just enjoy this video and I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all learned something today about the fortnite on band situation if y'all do want me to officially come back to fortnite y'all already know what to do drop a like subscribe turn on post notifications your boy our little beast is gone have a blessed day peace